Justin um, says, off topic question, sex question. Atlas Fontaine spoilers. I can wrap my head around Francisco and Reardon accepting Dagny choosing Galt and presumably all remaining friends. I don't know why you have to wrap your head around that. That seems pretty, I mean, I don't know. I don't see how you, I don't see how they don't. But how can Rourke be okay with Dominique sleeping with Ke Keating Wynette? Well, he, I mean, he's not okay with it. He's disappointed. He's maybe a little upset. But he knows she's wake, gonna wake up. She knows she's gonna come around. You see, having sex with somebody is not this irreversible stain that is put on you. Sex is not, okay, oh, you had sex with that person? You're done, finished. We'll never have anything to do with you. Sex is one aspect of human life. It's among many. I mean, I, I consider Dominique destroying the statues worse than her sleeping with Keating and Wynan. I, I, I consider her trying to destroy Rourke. How, do, how does he live with the fact that she's trying to destroy him? And yet still love her. So I don't see sex that way as this all or nothing or the special part of human life, human existence where it, it, you know, you're stained in some way or you're, you can never be forgiven for what you've done. Rook sees Dagny struggling with very basic fundamental issues about her view of a malevolent universe. And she's struggling and that struggling manifests itself in her destroying sculptures. That's, that struggling manifests itself in her fighting, in spite of loving Rook, fighting him off. It manifests itself in her trying to destroy Rourke, the person she loves the most in the world. It manifests itself in her sleeping with Keating and Winded. It manifests itself in a lot of different ways. But Rourke is confident, because he's confident in her, that she will overcome and come to the right conclusion at the end of this struggle, at the end of this battle that's occurring inside her, her the psychological battle. And, and that she will realize that she's wrong, wrong, to, to have tried to destroy him, wrong to have, in a sense, beaten herself down, wrong in destroying beauty around her, wrong in sleeping with Keating and Weiner. But all these are wrongs. It's not like, oh, she slept with somebody. That's out. That is a Christian, that's still remnants of a Christian view of sex. And I don't have that view of sex. And Ayn Rand obviously didn't have that view of sex. And her novels do not reflect that view of sex. I mean, so, I mean, if, you, if I were, if, I mean, if I were reared I would have thanked the stars that I'd had the, had thanked whatever, that I'd had the opportunity to sleep with Dagny. But now that she's with Galt, she's with Galt. And Galt is this amazing person I want to be friends with. And Dagny was this amazing person. We, yes, we had sex. And it's hard to become friends after you have sex with somebody. But hey, do I really want to cut her off? Because she's this amazing person. And she's with this guy who's an amazing person. How could I not want to be friends with him? And yeah, it... I mean... Yeah, I, don't, I don't see that you, you can't have a friendship with an ex. You can have a friendship with an ex. Just because you slept with them doesn't mean you can't have a friendly relationship after you after you sleep with him. So again, I, I, I think you're still suffering from a, a Christian view of sex, which, which turns it into this, I don't know, this, this both, um, uh, something, oh, you know, above and beyond other, any other human experience. Um, and in a sense it is, in a sense of pleasure, uh, but it's just one more human experience, an important one, significant one, spiritually important, physically important, more enjoyable maybe and more, more pleasurable than any other, but that's what it is. It's, it's an experience. It's, it, it's not couched in this, you know, whole, I mean, the whole Christianity, and I don't know if this is in the origins, but at least the way the church has developed, has built a whole corpus of thinking around 
the, around virtue that is, relates to just sex. To be a virtuous woman, what does that even mean? It doesn't mean be productive and be rational. It means don't have sex until you're married. I mean, virtue is associated with a particular view of sex. That's how important Christianity placed, uh, placed on sex. Now, I think secular culture diminishes sex too much, right? It eradicates sex too much, makes it into a completely physical activity. We need to have the right balance and the right perspective on it. It's super important as a human experience. And you have to gauge that experience and put it in the appropriate context. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.